11 Live News at Noon starts now. We are following breaking news just into the newsroom within the last hour. We have learned former President Donald Trump has now formally pleaded not guilty in the Georgia 2020 election interference case. According to a filing submitted just this morning, the former president has also waived his arraignment that would have taken place next Wednesday. Mr. Trump's waiving of his arraignment follows several other of his 18 co-defendants in the case doing the same thing. It is not yet clear when Trump's next court proceeding could happen. And this afternoon, Governor Brian Kemp is denouncing an effort by the legislator to call a special session to strip funding from or impeach the Fulton County prosecutor, Fonnie Willis. It is an effort to push back on the prosecution of former President Trump. 11 Alive Doug Richards is at the Capitol with more on those efforts that are now getting some attention from the governor, Doug. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Kemp made it clear that he is not a fan of the prosecution of the former president in Fulton County. He was critical, uh, particularly, of the prosecution uh, for taking some two and a half years to uh, actually reach the indictment phase. However, uh, during a press event this morning, uh, the governor said that he sees nothing illegal about the prosecution of Trump by the office of Fulton DA. Bonnie Willis, and he says there is no cause for him, the governor, to call a special session of the legislature to allow lawmakers to try to do something about it. We have a law in the state of Georgia that clearly outlines the legal steps that can be taken if constituents believe their local prosecutors are violating their oath by engaging in unethical or illegal behavior. Up to this point, I have not seen any evidence that D.A. Willis's actions or lack thereof warrant action by the Prosecuting Attorney Oversight Commission. The effort to call in the legislature is by a Republican from Dade County in northwest Georgia, Senator Colton Moore. Uh, Moore has been vocal about this online. He's been trying to pressure Republicans, including Kemp, uh, to support a special session. And Kemp acknowledged that some Republicans here at the Capitol uh, and at their home offices and uh, home districts uh, have received threats uh, from uh, people who are supportive of President Trump who want this prosecution uh, to be stopped. In particular, uh, Moore has published online uh, the phone numbers of some of the Republicans who he thinks uh, are not on board and should get on board. Uh, and uh, by doing so, um, Governor Kemp says that this has created uh, uh, uncomfortable situations, uh, particularly and possibly threatening situations. And Kemp said that he has uh, asked the GBI uh, to investigate uh, any such threats. Live at the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.